Indianapolis, as Bill Belichick, Nick Casario and the rest of the Patriots brass evaluates potential draftees at this week's NFL Combine, they're juggling a few dozen decisions on impending free agents. And of all the positions that could experience turnover next season, Tom Brady's cast of receivers looks most certain to undergo significant change. It wouldn't be a surprise to see Chris Hogan, Philip Dorsett, and Cordero Patterson in new uniforms next season. All three become unrestricted free agents at the beginning of the 2019 league year. The Pats are making an effort to retain Dorsett, though. The two sides have engaged in conversations regarding a potential return, according to a source. The fourth-year receiver was extremely efficient this past season, catching a team-high 76.2% of his targets. After a solid September, Dorsett saw his playing time evaporate when Julian Edelman returned from suspension and the team traded for Josh Gordon. There was interest in Dorsett at the trade deadline, but the Pats elected to keep him. Now, Dorsett figures to draw a solid market in free agency. He's well respected by teammates and coaches and, at 26 years old, should be entering the prime of his career. Dorset appears intent on letting his market unfold and making a decision from there. If last year's free agency was any indication, Dorset could be in for a decent payday. Wide receivers Taylor Gabriel and Albert Wilson each received more than $14 million guaranteed on the open market a year ago. Neither player had topped 625 yards in a season prior to signing the contract. Dorsett's career high of 528 yards came in his second year with the Colts. While the money will obviously be important, Dorsett wants to land in a situation that will give him consistent opportunity and targets, whether it's with the Patriots or somewhere else. Hogan, who was signed to a three-year, $12 million deal in the 2016 offseason, could be on the move. Despite a down year, Hogan has drawn interest from many teams across the league, according to a source. In three seasons with the Pats, Hogan averaged 41.3 receiving yards per game. Hogan is 30 years old, so he may be more affordable than other middle-tier free agent options. Patterson is a tough one. He's unpolished as a receiver, but ranks second in league history to Gale Sayers with an average of 30 yards per kick return and played well at running back when given the chance. If the Patriots want to refuel their receiving core with a receiver such as Golden Tate or Adam Humphreys, or potentially a superstar via trade, it will cost them. The free agent receiver market exploded in the spring of 2018. Outside of a possible receiver overhaul, the obvious priority for the Patriots is re-upping star defensive end Trey Flowers. Asked by the Herald about progress on a new contract, Flowers agent, Neil Cornage, said there is nothing to report, Flowers is a consensus top 10 overall free agent. The Pats are in a fine spot financially with just over $17 million in cap space, according to Boston Sports Journal. Still, undoubtedly, there will be efforts to clear additional space, especially if the team is looking to pursue high-profile receivers. At the moment, it doesn't look like contract restructures for veteran Stevan McCourty or Donta Hightower are part of the plan. A player has been approached about taking a pay cut, according to sources. McCourty's cap hit of $13.4 million could be lowered if the Pats extend him another year. This upcoming season is the final year of his contract. Hightower is entering the third season of a four-year deal signed in 2017. His contract, worth $37 million in total, is a manageable one for the Patriots. After a strong finish to the 2018 season and another utterly dominant Super Bowl performance, Hightower doesn't appear to be willing to shave off a few million if the Pats asked. As for the Patriots' in-house free agents, veteran cornerback Jason McCourty wants to keep playing in 2019 and would love to remain with the Pats. Fellow cornerback Jonathan Jones is a restricted free agent. The Pats are expected to tender him imminently. A second-round tender, which is projected to pay $3.1 million for the 2019 season, seems logical. 
the Pats have been in contact with free agent punter Ryan Allen, a source said. In an interview last month with the Herald's Karen Garigian, Allen said he'd like to stay, but added, it's going to come down to what's right for the team. There has been no discussion of a renewed contract between the Patriots and defensive tackle Malcolm Brown, a source said. Brown, the team's first round pick in 2015, has started 52 games in a Patriots uniform. The Pats declined his fifth-year option prior to this past season.